He's walking around somewhere. He's, he's okay. That's in my mind, and I have to keep that hope in my head. It has been 11 days since this 15 year old boy went missing, but his family spoke only to WPXI tonight, saying they still have hope that he will be found safe. Crews were back at the Vaughn River tonight looking for Gino Moretti, and our Michelle Newell just got an update from police. Dive teams searched both sides of the Mon River. Police even brought in the United States Coastal Guard to help out, but they came up with nothing. Now they're back to the drawing board, thinking of different search options, but they won't have any of that finalized until tomorrow. It's been a tough 11 days, and each day gets harder. I'm angry. There is nothing more frightening for a parent than not knowing where their child is. Lisa Carner knows what that feels like firsthand. I didn't have Thanksgiving. I couldn't. I stayed by myself. I didn't, I didn't have Thanksgiving. And sleepless nights have become a routine for Carner, who is Gino Moretti's adoptive mother. Right now, right now, I, he's okay. I feel that he's okay. He's, he's walking around somewhere. He's, he's okay. That's in my mind, and I have to keep that hope in my head. Before Gino went missing, he was the victim of cruel cyberbullying, targeted for being adopted. A girl had mentioned something to him about going to kill himself. Nobody would care about him. What was that, a week prior? On November 22nd at 1220 AM, Gino's phone pinged off a tower near the Elizabeth Bridge. A little more than one hour later, Gino sent his father a text message that said, I love you too. At some point that morning, Gino's family says he was captured on surveillance video near the Elizabeth Bridge. Gino's family and friends quickly began searching everywhere. Dive teams searched them on river because police say Gino was last seen near the Elizabeth Township Bridge. Well, family and friends tell me the search resumed today because of what they found out on their own. Went over to the sewage plant on the West Elizabeth side, asked them to check their videos from Saturday night into Sunday morning, and they called me. I went over and I seen the video surveillance at 148 of Gino looking up at the bridge and then walking up the steps. That was a difficult moment for Gino's cousin, Lori Carner. It was horrible. I went to my sister to 100% confirm that it was him. I brought it over to Jamie's to 100% confirm and everybody confirmed. So then I called the police and let them know that the video is over there. And now another search. Three dive teams went up and down the Mon River Wednesday. Gino's brother and other relatives traveled from out of town to be here. Once I heard it, I just dropped everything and came. I just, I, I didn't, I didn't know how to fathom it. I was just hopeful we really wanted to come home. Reporting from Elizabeth Township, Michelle Newell, Channel 11 News.